I've talked a lot of shit about the cloud gaming community over the past few months, not showing any remorse to the downsides that potentially come with using the service. I mean, look at Google Stadia. A whole user base of gamers will have to switch services because Google sucks at managing a gaming market. It's sad. It's, it, it's sad sad but as technology becomes more and more advanced and people want to spend less and less money the idea of not having a console and simply being able to play their favorite games via the internet becomes more popular so much so that console brands like xbox have their own version of cloud gaming with their titles that's included in the xbox game pass ultimate and trash talking aside, this is very convenient for people that want to play these games on the go or just don't have the luxury of buying a console. Even PlayStation had a live streaming service for years called PlayStation Now that I tried to experiment with back in the day, but they didn't have God of War Ascension. How was it a PlayStation service with... We're never going to talk about that today. But that service just got canceled last year for reasons I don't remember nor care about to explain to you all today. And while the majority of fans were disappointed at that time, these same fans may have brighter days incoming because it was just recently shown in a new Sony legal patent that Sony is in production of a cloud gaming app that's able to be used from your favorite streaming device. So basically, you can use your Fire Stick or, or your Roku to stream your favorite games instead of using a credit card to buy a console that you may or may not pay back when the bill comes. I feel that this platform is going to return with the same PlayStation Now name, except now with just a different form. This picture here shows the diagram that was included in the patent displaying a man with no drip whatsoever, jeans and dress shoes is crazy, put that man in jail, and a simplified version of how the service will work on your streaming device's UI. It gives a hypothetical version of how the service will appear on your streaming device showing how it'll be accessible like all of your other apps. Nothing else was shown in the patent like price or release date, but you can infer that the price will obviously be inexpensive to any of the console counterparts. But at the same time, you don't know, man. PlayStation just released a $200 controller that has worse battery life than the original, so it's anyone's guess as to where they take that. But this device is obviously Sony's way of combating the rise of cloud gaming, like how Xbox cloud streaming is being readily available in some Samsung TVs right out the box. And overall, I think that this is actually a cool thing that's happening for gamers because imagine if you didn't have the budget for the PS5 console or any other previous console but you wanted to play your favorite older PlayStation exclusive games. So this is perfect for that inevitable audience that is out there. But if I'm being honest, come on, come on man, look, come on man, let me, let me talk, let me, all I wanted to say was that they've shown time and time again that they can take away the service like that so just just keep that in mind all right i'll stop so whenever this device does get released i have a good feeling that as long as it works as intended and it's on par with its competitor cloud gaming devices it's going to do well within the playstation audience and be a well received device but we're just going to have to keep our eyes open for new details that Sony will give us regarding their next creation. So what do you guys think about Sony's new streaming device, man? Feel free to leave a comment down below on your thoughts. As always, leave a like on the video, subscribe. I'll see y'all.